sun. Sun forms. Asteroids are already there because of the debris. This is the sun. The sun turns into a G-type star, which means fusion, aka proton plus neutron equals one nucleus plus another nucleus and fusion. Jupiter is formed. You eat my gas. Meanwhile, this red blob over here is not Earth but Saturn. Anyway, Saturn forms. Ice giants form. But there is also another one called Fifth Giant. Forget about them. The Ice Giants. Migrate from Uranus. There is hydrogen sulfide coming out of it. Basically makes the distinctest planet. Anyways, moving on. The inner solar system forms. A.K.A. Hermes, which no more exists, is now eaten up by the sun. Mercury, Volcanso, which collided with Mercury. Venus. Which had a lot of ashes back then. Earth. This looks nothing recognizable. Tiha. Which will soon collide into Earth. And Mars. Still forming. Next. Earth and Tiha colliding. Forming the moon. Hey there. By the way, the more common earth hits with, water gets there. I mean like, that's why earth has got water. Even Mars now has got water. Although basically the last time we saw it was still forming. Anyway, the first solar eclipse happened. And yeah, by the way, earth is now purple. Although this wouldn't appear on the sky, but I'm just showing so you know how Earth looks like. Earth turns purple. You know why it was purple? No. Still not green though. Next. <laughs> life forms. Yippee! Life is there. And also the first super continent. Which basically just looks like a continent. Which is called your continent. Yeah, but it's everybody's continent. Form. Basically, Venus and Mars are also have to burn. I am. I'm sorry. By now. And Luna, Europa. And Angela Dinkins are candidates of being habitable soon in the near future. I mean like, not in the near future of where we are now. But present day, probably they may become habitable because of technology and all. But anyways, Mars loses water. So don't be surprised if you see a picture of Mars with water. I mean like, like this. But don't get surprised that Mars is getting water, it's losing water. That's why it's old. Basically, life also existed on it. Yes, amazing. This is Venus and this is Earth. Another asteroid is flying by but not in mass extinction one. Next. The fifth giant gets ejected. Remember the fifth giant I was talking about when... The ice giants form? Well, you don't basically see it in the solar system anymore because it's well ejected from the solar system. Ejected basically means just pushed out of the solar system by some object. Like here, Jupiter? Yeah, basically it ejects asteroids but now ejects planet? That's weird. Next. 
Venus loses water and gets a greenhouse effect. My dear note, something red is happening. What is it? Let's find out. <laughs> Idea, what is this? It means iron bander formation. Which basically is when the earth ocean stone red and so on. Basically now Venus looks like a gas giant but that's Venus. And Mars is now just a desert. Nothing. <laughs> now this is a thing called snowball earth event. It is when the entire earth becomes a snowball. I mean like when it's winter in a year then it's not like this otherwise it will go minus 22 Celsius. Like in the history of Earth, I mean not the recent one, the one of the first episodes. And yeah, by the way, this is a Master Yi in Ice Age. Then, the Iron Band formation resumes. What? But now it ended, which is... Good job. But again, there's a snowball. And another one. After this. Yep, that's the one. Another normal load. With this being Columbia. Again. Meanwhile, over here, it's not really history of the solar system branch, it's just what all Earth has got so far. Snow, correct. Grass, correct. Clouds, correct. Life, correct, but not that much. Not an explosion of life, but will soon happen in the next life. Cambrian explosion! Now what? <laughs> Mars basically just dies away because of the ordo Vician extinction. Now? Normal load in the Silurian. Basically, this is the point where plants on land appear. Great. Now Pangea forms. Saturn gets rings. The great dying. I mean, like, this is not how Earth was, but it basically just blew up a continent or so. Now, dinos, the first being Euraptor. This lived in the Triassic 201 million years ago. You think million is a bit, huh? A lot. Jurassic Age. More dinosaurs like my favorite Brachiosaurus. Then, eventually, it goes away. Yan Asteroid hits and Sonic Boom. New life in the Cretaceous, hey? Cool. With a Tyrannosaurus Rex living in Lera Media. Basically, there are medias forming because it's not the end of the Cretaceous. Because the end of the Cretaceous is when the T-Rex evolves. And now happens the KT extinction when dinosaurs disappear from Earth, also known as the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. And Jupiter had no time to save it. Now, on Earth, tribes form with Neanderthals. Next, in the 16th century, Galileo Galilei discovers the four moons of Jupiter. And back then, the red spot also forms. By the way, this is Saturn. Doesn't it look cool? Next, later in time, the space race is there in the Cold War. And USSR launches the first satellite, Sputnik 1. 
And over here is another one, which is the first person on stage, Yuri Gangare. This is also from USSR, or Fluent Union to be exact. <laughs> Then, in 1969, this is a very happy year for the Americans. United States of America launches Neil Armstrong on the moon along with Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins who stayed in the space module which was Apollo 11. The modern inner solar system. In 2006, Pluto is now Just a dwarf planet.